So now I'm going to, I'm going to create the text view editor. It goes like this. I've had text view. There's some letters in it. I click on in it to type. There's a done button shows up. I click on that button. Done button is saved. Goes back. So that's what I'm shooting to build. So same way I'm going to drag everything down here. I'm going to create a class text view editor text view controller dot m and head it from UI view controller. Then I'm going to jump into the storyboard. Just drag a UI view controller up there. Change its custom class to text. Text view controller. Storyboard is the same and remember to click out of it to save it. I'm going to jump into my master view controller. Copy and uh, write this code. If text is equal to text view, just like before, in the .h file of it, I have added a property, text view controller. Then in the .m file, I can you know write the if statement, just like before, text view controller, an instance of text view view, view controller, instantiate view controller with identifier. That's the storyboard ID in the story storyboard set the title self.textViewController is the detail view and then push it so I can go into storyboard so I have that I have that now what I need to do is write some code so step number one I need a text table view no not the table view I need a text view Come on, text view. <clears throat> I'm going to put a text view on top of it. I'm going to control click drag onto this icon, delegate. So my delegate is going to be in the files owner, and the files owner is. We set that to text view controller a minute ago. Now I'm going to open up the dot header file, control click the text view, and create an outlet. call it text view no need for the protocol stuff still you know right here as in the their example I did that thing control click and drag on the file owner now I'm gonna jump into the text view controller and write text view did begin editing that's the since this is this file text view controller is the delegate the text view will send methods to there was the control click drag and delegate so that's how it will know where to send its messages in text view controller so I can write a method the standardized method when I click on it it'll fire this method when I click on the text view it'll fire this method and I write this code in here UI bar button save button I lock in it and it with storyboard and it with bar button system item you know UI bar button system item done target self action selector in this file self there's going to be a selector called uh, a function called save action so when I click on that button <coughs> call it and that's up here save action and then self nav navigation item right bar button item save item that's what makes the done button show up when I click on the done button save action is fired and in it I say self text view resign first responder make the keyboard go away self navigation item right power button item equals nil make that button go away and synthesize text view it should be here mm -hmm. it may take a second for it to pick up after I defined the property, I synthesized it. Yep, you see it picked it up, it went away. So, text view. I click on it. 
the done button shows up when I click on the done button the keyboard doesn't go away so I gotta probably text view click yeah you see that button is getting fired so that ma makes the done button show up when I click on the done button self text view resigned first responded right button item nil and okay something is up here it was working a minute ago this keyboard is supposed to go away the button does go away so here we are click on it editing becomes enabled edit something click on done the keyboard goes away and the problem was I gotta click drag click a control click drag and created an outlet I had to do that and now if I control click it I can see that the delegate was text view controller and there's a referencing outlet is connected this wasn't connected okay so that's it uh, for the text view controller there was an easy one are pickers there is a control down there that switches between the UI picker UI date picker and custom picker picker just a list I select it it shows up here on the label UI date picker I can pick a month date and year and there are three different modes again there is a control up there to switch from one two three four different styles of date custom picker has a picture and a label that you can pick that's what I'm gonna replicate using the storyboards I'm working on pickers right now users of the UI date picker and UI picker view so this is how far I got there's a label up there a switch toggle switch a, a label up there name and it's an index you know this is a zero based index array so just you know making it two segments so this picker has two segments one left side and two sides it has a name and the segment 2 has the index of the array <clears throat> and as I pick either one of them it shows up what I pick on the left side what I pick on the right side just to show an example how to show the picker how to populate it how to when the user clicks on it how to get the user's selection now down below there is another switch switch between UI picker UI date and custom so it's a very complicated example but I'm not going to show it one by one by just having this, this do it this far so I'm gonna go in here go to the storyboard and as usual what I did was I took the other other one way down here then I dragged a view controller up here zoomed in Okay, drag the label up there. A segment, segmented control up there, up here. And I changed its style to bar. See how plain looks like that? Bar looks like that. So I just changed that property on it. Then I put a label up here. <coughs> I put, put a date picker. Sorry, just a picker view picker view up here so far date picker will come later just a picker view here then I put a right there a toolbar which is 
this one I drag the toolbar up here then I dragged a bar button um, see the toolbar has a bar button item so I put a it took a bar button item there and I changed it it's behind it if you see if I drag it up there you see there are two uh, dashed arrow heads on the left and the right side so one of them I took one of them if I could get my hands on it uh, bar button item flexible okay yeah so I put one on the left I put one there the dashed one and I said that this is going to be instead of being a custom or something like that it's going to be no 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 the identifier is going to be flexible space then I dragged another bar button here and changed it to flexible space. That's why you see two dashed lines with arrowheads on the left and right. And they are just there. Then I dragged a, they, they are there to keep the segmented control right in the middle. So then I took, went back up here and found the segmented control and you know dragged it back right in between when I saw that line yellow line so it was right in the middle smack me in the middle of it once I had that I started on customizing it number of segments three segment zero what the name is going to be UI picker so there was that segmented one is going its title is going to be UI date picker so that's this one in the in the middle segment 2 is going to be custom and there's that one up there same thing with these three four segments segment 0 segment 0 dash 2 I put a title of 2 so that that's how I configured the look of these things then the next step was to well uh, backing up when I put, the, put this view controller up there I went in and changed its class to picker view controller because I had added a I started off before I added the view I started off by adding a class picker view controller that inherits from a subclass of UI view controller so when I dragged the view controller up here I already had that custom class so I put that name up there put that name in the storyboard ID clicked up here to make sure it's saved and that's the only three things I did class first drag a UI view changes custom class and storyboard ID and once all that was done it's time to create it was time to create outlets so I'm going to dismiss utility view and I'm going to open the assistant editor you get a little bit ah. I'm going to dismiss that one here too. I want to see more. N not that either. Yeah, I want to. Yeah, that, that's good. Okay, so now next time, ne time to create outlets. You know, the same old control, click, drag. I call it top label outlet control click on the segmented control drag here create an outlet top segmented control control click drag middle label outlet then control click drag an outlet for the UI picker view called picker view outlet and then Make sure this segment is selected. I usually go over here. Make sure the make sure the segmented control is selected. Control click drag bottom segmented outlet. Then I created a property array and it's array picker view array. It is going to have data to populate you know, these na uh, names here. Stops for two methods toggle pickers. When I click on this one. 
toggle picker style when I click on this one and that's the signature you know ID signature that of course I can name anything here but it, it should it should have an ID of sender who sent it it's an IV action then I clicked control click dragged on it to connect it actually before before that I, you know control click it actually before I started programming this one I, I went back here so control click and so you see I did nothing here so that we are good there so now I need yeah so there was it control click drag on it toggle uh, is until it said connect action and I let go same thing here so when I click on them this method will be called so now the, it's time to make connections for the picker view if I control click it you will see that I had data source I control click dragged on top of this one to tell its data source is going to be found in the owner of this view which is um, picker view controller dot m so that was, that's what that one does same thing for the delegates the delegates for this picker view are going to be found in on this icon which is links to picker view controller dot m and as you see uh, referencing outlet I already did when I did the control click drag right up there bottom segmented control and I could have actually done this one you know control click mm, control click no not that one control click and I could have done this you know drag it up there drag these down there drag this down there so anyway now the outlets are created the actions are connected now it's just time to jump into pickerviewcontroller.m so for that I need to show the le left side pickerviewcontroller.m I'm going to open the assistant editor I am going to define some properties in here actually back up a little bit in the master view controller I did the same old stuff import picker view prop picker view and go to this method the if method if text equal is equal to string pickers you know picker view controller blah 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 the same thing that I've been doing all along now it's time to go back into picker view controller or the fun stuff so I need to implement toggle pickers method and toggle picker style method so I put in did I do that I can do double click it right click and say jump to definition and it jumps to definition is somewhere up there yeah it should be up there here, here they are toggle pickers Tiger picker styles. I'm not doing anything in it yet. I just want the first picker uh, to show up. That's all I want. For that, I'm gonna synthesize the picker view array, load the picker view array, then implement some methods that the picker delegate. The picker will fire some methods to say, ask for how many elements do you got, how many segments do you have then for if you say I got two segments it's gonna come back again okay well, what's in the first segment how many rows in the first second segment so we gotta do that logic right now so here are UI picker delegates one is did select row so when I select a row in it what will happen but before I select a row I gotta fill the rows for component well before I do that I need to know move on to next one that's not the first one they are not in order they don't show up in order they are fired width of the component well before I know the width 
or height I need to know how many number of rows there are and even before that I need to know how many number of components there are components are those names and the zero to two components left or right let me, let me, let me show you that it's complicated this is one of the more complicated ones picker view you see this is one segment on the left side with Johnny Appleseed on the right side moves that is two segments so it has two segments on the left side names right side numbers so that's what I'm saying here how many number of components how many components uh, are there in the in your picker and, and we saw two then it's gonna say how many rows are there in the component well in, in both of them you're gonna have the same number of rows so say picker array dot count same number of, of elements there are in picker array and how many there are one two three four five six seven seven so that says okay there are going to be seven rows in each of the components now you know it'll say width of the component how wide it's going to be how high it's going to be and that's basically you know height and width and then we have title for row row for component now here I gotta have a little bit of logic you know I gotta fill the left and right component so basically I say okay if picker view is picker view outlet because we're gonna have the date picker also later on right so I, I, I gotta figure out both of them are gonna fire the same method so <coughs> I gotta have <coughs> logic to figure it out if the picker view is it is it's the same as the picker view outlet the uh, one that I'm working on right now not the date view that's gonna come later on then come if if I'm then it sends in a component also okay for picker view for this picker view how and this component what do you got if the component is zero on the I'm gonna say just object at row index you know the name Appleseed and Johnny Appleseed if it's the second one then I want to convert it to a number number of int with row zero based in you know first one would be zero the second one one so that's what's going on here it's populating those rows so that'll get us as far as having when I click on pickers I see this the two components each one of them is populated now when I click on it you see how it gets populated that's done in did select row when I'm clicking on it it's selecting so in that I say the middle label outlet dot text is going to be and a string string with format is going to have a percent a string here dash and then a number and I pick them out you know from picker picker array object at index picker view selected row in component zero on the left side what's selected picker view selected row in component one on the right side what's selected and the left side goes here right side goes here so whenever I click on it it shows me what's selected here Chris Armstrong what's on the selected on the right side zero I will click two here Chris Armstrong is selected on the left side in component zero in the component one two is selected so that's how we know what the user is doing so that's it so far now I gotta go ahead and put the a date picker up here and try to when I click over here I wanna switch it I'm gonna hide this one I'm gonna show the date picker and do that you know and even when I click on UI picker I wanna hide these things here I click on the UI date picker I'm gonna show this label and this segmented control and hide this label and hide the picker view and show the date view picker so it's a little complicated it's been you know because of the segmented controls if, if it was done one by one we would have to mix all of these segmented controls but that's the way it is so that's why I'm trying to do it one by one in uh, baby steps so we can see and grow the sample so it can be so it can be understood
Now what I want is, I want a date picker. You see how there are two different types of pickers. Picker view. Mm. Picker view, I work with it. Date picker is the another one. And that doesn't require number of rows and all that stuff because, you know, it's a date picker. It already knows how many number of rows there are and the height and width maybe I can control. So I'm going to drag that another one up here on top of it. And next I need to, at this point, uh, I don't need this one. So I'm going to dismiss it. I'm going to open the assistant editor and I need to select this picker. I could actually control click. I'm going to do it a little bit different, different way this time. The referencing outlet, I could do this way. Click and drag and call it uh, date picker. Date picker outlet. So that's going to be the outlet for it. Now, as far as did select row, okay, so the other thing I could do is, hey, it, sh it should have delegate, right? Okay, you see, the date picker does not have a delegate or data source because its data source is going to be automatically, it's going to pick up and fill. So we are good there. Date picker outlet. Now, when I click on this button I need to have a logic saying you know which button was selected if uh, you know 0 1 or 2 and hide and show things so that logic comes next for that I need to hide uh, need to go back to bigger view outlet assistant editor and I need to find the toggle toggle pickers and put some logic in here to figure out you know which picker was clicked and you know toggle it back and forth synthesize top segmented outlet top label outlet I thought I had a middle label I have already created an outlet up there then I need um, top label middle label I have the bottom segmented outlet so after they have been uh, Initialized. I can come back in here. Start with modify. I wanna when I click the UI picker view, I wanna hide the top label. Top label outlet dot hidden. Top segmented outlet. Dot hidden. Yes. Show picker, and I am calling it. Uh, I wanna show the. Picker view outlet is going to say show picker method does not exist. Uh, um, select, so I'm going to have to make a method called show picker in a second. <clears throat> Before that, picker style segmented control selected index equal to one. If I if I That, that'll be the bottom picker bottom segmented control and then that will be the I just made it date picker outlet did I synthesize? no I gotta synthesize it date picker outlet now I can say now it will pop up and help date picker outlet dot date picker mode is that I want to hide at this point picker style picker style 
segmented control the top one the top segmented control he'll know top label outlet hidden no I'm gonna show the show date picker view date picker outlet then if I'm showing the custom one there's going to be some other logic and I don't I'm gonna ramp this out for right now so I need the show picker method I need to bring that in from the sample app. So here's the show picker method. It should have been outside the other method. Now the current picker to facilitate retain which one is the current picker. I'm gonna prop a UI view current picker and synth it. So that'll take care of this complaining about okay so current picker hidden equal to if, if label text I am not sure which label it's talking about I'm gonna get that current out, out, out of the way and it's gonna figure out which one should be shown so I'm gonna run this thing and see if I can figure out the logic pickers you are date picker Hmm, good. It's gonna fire. Current picker. Which one is the current picker? It's... I don't know which one it is. I never said it. Picker hidden. No. Current picker. Cool! Okay, so that... That was easy. Cool. If I have the date picker, these things show up. The label, oh yeah, the, this label should be hidden. And when I come over here, yeah, that's what that label was, I think. Toggle pickers show mm, middle, middle, middle label. I think that's what it is, middle label outlet. Let's try again. Pickers. Yeah, so when I go to pickers, I want to show that middle label. Somewhere here I need that logic. You know, middle label, outlet yet hidden is equal to no. I'm missing some logic here. So when I click on UI picker view, it jumps all the way down there. How, how come it doesn't stop there? Maybe I need to show it up there. Switch UI picker middle view outlet hidden. Middle level outlet hidden. No. Yep. Okay, gotta figure that logic out. And th these are the things that need practice. So I wanna demonstrate it. So for first time it's all shown. So if I click on UI date picker, I come over here. Bottom segmented index. Yes. So here, top segmented hidden no. Top label hidden no. Um, show date picker. I'm gonna step into it. And that one says that if current picker
Okay, so that label isn't hidden now. If I go here, it says top label hidden, it's gonna hide it, it's gonna hide it. And middle label hidden, no. Step into it. Yeah, it's gonna set that text to nothing. And bring me back here. Okay, that's good. It, it, it just sets it to blank. So that's fine. Yeah, the logic is working. So, and I, I'm picking dates here. I'm picking the regular UI picker. I'm going to click on something again to actually see that label. So, that's good. So, now next one is when I click here, here, here. I want to change the styles of this uh, date picker and that comes from there's a method here toggle picker style that I need logic in so that's the logic date picker outlet I believe that's what it is let me see if I can do the refactoring uh, no, that's not going to do it. I have a date picker outlet, so I'm just, uh, just going to copy it and paste over it. Segmented label text. So that was the top label, top label outlet. I'm calling it top label outlet. With that logic in there picker view oh my god it's working that was neat <laughs> so I love iOS objective C you know it's, it's pretty neat so now that has been that isn't updating let you go back in there and make that label bigger wider Hopefully they'll let me see or to change the fonts on it or something. Yep, that's what it is. It's uh, so how do I make the font smaller? You click the label and I'm gonna make it uh, uh. you know they it shows me what date style it is the different styles of date is being picked when I click on it, is it firing that did select row method? So I'm gonna go in there and did did uh, did select row. Did select row. I'm gonna just click it right there. And when I click on it, yeah, and you see I have to implement a delegate method that actually captures that. <laughs> 